What's up? It's Coach J Pro, and today we're talking all about tempo. Okay. What is it? Why should you care? And what are the three best tempos to train at to get the most out of your bag and to make sure you're developing your skill and technique as efficiently as possible? Go ahead and throw your gloves on because we're going to break it down and then drill it together. So what even is tempo and how does it apply to us? Tempo is the rate or speed of motion or activity. Another word for this being pace. So for us, that's the frequency and speed and our general approach to throwing punches anytime we're using the bag. Far too often, beginners who are new to boxing or new to boxing training for the first time, they punch blind, meaning they're not really thinking about what they're doing. They're just running around the bag. It's chaotic and aggressive and often frustrating and difficult and just not fun. So you want to think deeper about the training process itself because the more that you understand about tempo and benefits, the more prepared you are to get the most out of training. So let's break down the three best tempos that we should be using anytime we're training on our reflex bag. The first one is a flow. Some people call this a coast. I call it a flow. This is our light and continuous pace. Our feet are planted in our stance, so we're not moving around our bag. We're still in our stance and we're non-stop tapping our bag at 50% power or less. This is a great pace for beginners to learn the basics of rhythm and how to control their bag, and it's great for all levels to use as a warm-up before more intensive training. So if you have your gloves on, let's take position in front of our bag, get in a nice comfortable spot in your stance, and we're just gonna start tapping our bag at 50% power or less. This is a light and continuous pace. One of the biggest mistakes is you come in and you start slugging at this thing at 110% power, trying to impress the people around you, or trying to make a statement at the boxing gym. This is how you condition your shoulders and how you warm up. You can see that's pretty light, but imagine doing that for three minutes straight. You're really gonna to start to feel that burn in the upper body. Next is gonna be our combination pace. This is where we're putting long and explosive punches together in short bursts. It's not continuous, so we wanna take our time in between each combo, practicing our head movement and our footwork in between. We're throwing long, sharp punches, and typically the most powerful shot comes at the end of the combo. So now really quick, let's practice a combination pace together. Let's make the combo a one, one, two. Jab, jab, cross. One, one, two. One, one, two. So that double jab is nice and sharp. And then that two, we can bring a little bit more sauce. Remember to take your time in between. Pick your shots. Imagine that bag is trying to hit you back. One, one, two. Nice and long, exhaling on every punch. Ish, ish, ish. Ish, ish, ish. And finally, we have the freestyle tempo. This is where you have the freedom to train however you want. You get to decide what the area of emphasis is. So maybe you wanna work combinations or flow or any mix of the two. For me, I like to use the freestyle as a form of meditation. I do my best to block out all of the outside thoughts, focus on my own movement, balance, and how the bag is moving. It's really just a chance for me to express myself and have fun, which is what this is all about. Okay, so we have our three tempos, flow, combination, and freestyle. Now we're gonna put three minutes on the clock and drill them together in a three minute boxing round. Okay, so line up in front of our bag. And we're gonna start this round with the flow one, two. Our light and sustainable pace. If your bag doesn't move as fast as mine, that's okay. You just wanna find a tempo where you can work continuous. So maybe you have to put a little bit more power. Find that light, continuous pace.
So you think about the power, we're gonna switch to a flow five, six now. Uppercut, flow. So you think about the power, you wanna be throwing light enough so that you could do it for the entire three minute round if you had to. If I'm new, this is where I should be focused most of the time because I'm learning how to control my bag and how it reacts to all the different punches. And then later on, all you're doing is adding more power to it. Okay, now we're gonna step out and go to a combination tempo. Let's work a one, two, three for our combination here. Remember that one, two is nice and sharp. And then we put a little bit more sizzle on that three. Take your time. Pick your shots. Sometimes I'll use my lead hand to center that bag a little bit. That's okay when you're just starting out. But the less you do that, the quicker you'll develop your timing. Ten seconds. Empty it out on that three. Peace. Okay, last minute of the round, let's go to a freestyle. Freestyle tempo. Anything you want here. Let me know in the comments what you like to focus on for your freestyle. Are you focused on head movement? Are you focused on that mind body? This beautiful thing is there's no wrong answer. And time. And that's it. Those are your top three tempos that you want to be training with anytime you're using a reflex bag. And within those three, there are a million and one variations. You can literally just build your own workout. Choose how many rounds you want to work and then just cycle between the different tempos within the three minute round. Or better yet, subscribe to the channel where I've done the work for you and I'm uploading drills and complete 20 minute workouts every single week. Best believe we've got every type of variation you can think of for our flow. We've got the Canelo flow, the power flow, all the combinations and much, much more. So hopefully this drill was helpful and I'll see you again real soon. Nice, nice, nice.